What's up everybody, my name is Janice. Today we're looking at a Jeskai 1000 Year Storm Mythos of a Luna deck. <laughs> or a Thousand Year Mythos deck, or a Mythos of a Thousand Year Storm, however you want to say it, basically. Um, the, the goal of this deck is to get down your Thousand Year Storms, plead your Mythos of a Luna to copy your Thousand Year Storms uh, pretty much as many possible times as you can. Now I do only have two copies of Thousand Year Storms, so getting the combo to actually go off is going to be a little difficult, but... Once it does, oh baby, once it does. Um, but before we go and hop into this entire deck tech or deck breakdown and I'll show you the ins and outs of this deck, I would like to remind you all if you enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like down below and a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions on this video, future videos, or past videos. Furthermore, if you're new here, consider subscribing. It's free. It's a great way to support the channel. And if you click on that bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I post a video or post a post. And if you're looking to see us play these games live, you can hop over to twitch.tv forward slash Dr. Spillican. Or, if you're looking to join up in some riveting magic conversation, you can hop in our Discord. There's a link in the description, as always. Now, on to what we're actually playing here today. Uh, Mythos of Aluna plus Thousand Year Storm. How does it work? What are we trying to do with it? And how do we actually get to this point of playing it without dying, right? So, my idea was to basically put it in an Is It deck that played the Arc Light Phoenixes like before. You know, you'd discard your Arc Light Phoenixes, play a whole bunch of spells, and then come back. Um, and then sort of modify that right into also a Thousand Year Storm deck, which is a little difficult, but since you have so many low-cost spells in that Phoenix deck, um, it's actually not that bad, right? So, if we'll take a look at our spells. We have a whole lot of adventure cards, and I figured these were the best as, uh, one, they're really cheap spells, right? Merchant of the Veil. One mana, instant speed, allows you to discard your Phoenixes and draw... Or, Phoenix Saw, whatever, <laughs> and draw more cards, so really useful there. Um, Bone Crusher Giant, again, two mana, allows you to deal two damage, and again, comes down as a big, uh, fairly big creature. Same thing with Breaking Bar. So your deck actually looks something a little closer to this on the curve, right? So at first look, it looks a little steep, but in all reality, you have a whole bunch of lower cost spells. Uh, Definitely Clarion, which I gotta say, I <laughs> didn't think it would be so good, but it actually really, really is in this deck. Um, and then you have your your top end, which is pretty much just your uh, your fun stuff, right? And I do have Shark Typhoon in here as well, as I do believe it is. Uh, it's basically a more realistic Thousand Year Storm, right? It's like it's it's a six mana enchantment that you do want to copy that's still gonna allow you to win the game. That isn't so. Uh, build up -y, right? <laughs> thousand Year Storm, you kind of need to have like these lower spells, plus the Mythos, plus the Thousand Year Storm on the board, whereas Shark Typhoon, I mean, Shark Typhoon is pretty much always good. Um, but anyways, aside from those few key notes, we are just playing a lot of very cheap spells, right? So we have Opt and Shock, um, Throw a Possibility, Underworld Fires, which I found actually kind of works very good with Thousand Year Storm, right? You copy it once or twice, you're dealing tons of damage to all their creatures and all their planeswalkers. Um, but yeah, aside from that, we're just rocking Rowl and Whirlwind of Thought uh, to keep us, well, one, able to copy our spells, and two, you know, able to draw more cards out. So that's going to pretty much do it for the deck tech or deck breakdown. We are playing this in ranked, so we're going to see if this deck is actually worthwhile or just a pile of cards, right? Uh, that's going to pretty much do it for the deck tech or deck breakdown. Hope you all enjoyed, and now we're going to hop right into our matches. All right, Linus, or Linus, gonna be our foe here. Well, we do already have a Thousand Year Storm in our starting hand. It's very hard for me to turn that away, even though we don't exactly have the top amount of lands. Ah, we'll keep it. We shall keep. Also, I should probably recheck out this deck. I haven't looked at it since two days ago, something like that. So three days ago, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we built this as a <clears throat> goodness gracious. We built this as a I'm gonna have fun kind of deck, and well, we had fun with it. We got the combo to go off a couple times, and that was that was interesting. So. We shall see here. We shall see. We're going to pass it back to our opponent's turn. Of course, we have the the advantage of having all our stuff be able to be cast at instant speed. I would rather thrill than opt right now. 
So we're going to thrill and discard the opt. I guess I could have also discarded the merchant, but the merchant is a potential potential card. All right. So I have everything I need. I don't know why you would play your Loris when you have nothing in the graveyard to capitalize off of it. I have everything I need minus a land <laughs> to get this get this ball rolling. So I guess we'll just get down to good old Bone Crusher Giant and go from there. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Uh, good game. <laughs> Yeah, I yes, yes. Four mana, thousand year, mythos. The shock is uh, whatever, but like the the other two are everything I want in life and so much so much more. Unfortunately we are going up against what appears to be a mono black Obosh deck, so it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be a matter of can we get this down quick enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. I'm gonna go ahead and be uh, very real with everybody and say that's a hard probably not. My phone just keeps going off. We are gonna go ahead and shock out that gutter bones. I know they can get it back, but they can get back cats too, so like what's it matter? In the end, it doesn't even matter. Three cats. <laughs> okay, we're down to we're down to thirteen health uh, on turn three because of because of kitty cats. Alright, we have to cycle that Shark Typhoon here. I would love to say that we don't have to, but we we do. <laughs> we most certainly do. Even if it only takes out one cat, it's uh it's better than nothing, so. Whoa, Strider. I'm not gonna lie, I wanna get down the whirlwind of thought, but the the idea of using Mythos on their Woe Strider so we actually have some defenses, not too bad either. Not too bad. If I play the whirlwind, we are taking five, we're going down to six. Oh no. We we can't possibly win if I whirlwind. All right, give me that Woe Strider, I guess. Now, unfortunately, since it's not entering the battlefield, I don't know if it's going to create a goat. Well, I guess it is entering the battlefield, right? We're creating a token, yeah. We're not, like, moving it over or anything. All right. We got a Woe Strider of our own. Maybe this will uh, keep us defensed up. Well... It's a little bit of a yikes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So taking out our woe strider. Potentially should have sacked the cat there so they could have at least gotten the scry off of it, but whatever. Whatever. I mean we can mythos their their mayhem devil, right? And then every time they go to sack something, at least we get a proc off on it as well. Next turn we can go whirlwind into an op, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, so we're not playing Mythos on our own Thousand Year Storm this game. 
or just plan it on your stuff. Kind of unfortunate we got an aggro matchup though. Our our best matchups will probably be some mid rangey stuff. Okay. They just straight up sacked it. They said, fuck you. You're not getting a copy. <laughs> That's great. That's fantastic. I like the, the whole kamikaze thing there. All right, so do they play an Obosh? That's, uh, no. Okay. <laughs> cool. cool beans. Not going to complain. Ral. Oh, Ral. <laughs> I think it's over here, ladies and gentlemen. They have seven damage on board, but I do want to see what we can hit off of our whirlwind plus opt. Was it worth it in the end? Okay. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, chance. Whoa. GG. GG, Mr. Hurrah. Oh, I can't see the name. Hurrah Harlari. Hell, I wouldn't be able to say that name anyways. Basilic. Oh, I kind of like the name. It's a decent name. <laughs> Healer's Hawk come down for our foe. Interesting, interesting. Now, I'm not going to lie, we need more blue mana for the Brazen Borrower, but I think we'll come by that. I think we should go for red so we can cast more of our red spells. But realistically, what are we playing on our next turn? We're bouncing with the borrower. Turn after that, we're probably going to go thrill. Actually, on our next turn, we could go thrill, discard, phoenix, draw, see what we hit. Or we go borrower, who isn't going to block their hawk, right? Shouldn't block their hawk. Might can bounce something. I think we go for red mana. Our opponent looks to be playing Azorius Flyers. We'll we'll have to see later. Hushbringer. Yeah, that's, that's good old Azorius Flyers. Now we can Merchant of the Veil, we'll discard Phoenix, draw a card, see what we hit, go from there, or we can play a land and throw a possibility, Phoenix, go from there. We're just gonna go for the merchant. Bone Crusher. The Bone Crusher. Shit. <laughs> Y'all ignore my plays here. Peering Eagle, that's not good for us. Do we have a Storm's Wrath in this deck, actually? That's a, that's a good, good question. <laughs> it's a great question, in fact. Okay, so we can we can bounce kill Hushbringer, but that's not great. We can kill Healer's Hawk. We just bounce Imperial Eagle. <laughs> I think bouncing the Eagle is probably the best thing. Just instant speed bounce. Wow, we keep getting these aggro matchups. We're not gonna, we're not gonna be able to win. So we probably should have bounced that sooner, but on the bright side, you resolve this. You bounce that. Ooh, look at that. Chansey was a smart boy. Chansey was a smart boy. <laughs> God damn, that felt great. 
All right, so we are playing some Deafening Clarions in the list. Probably should have looked back over it one more time before hopping into the match. Loyal Pegasus. <laughs> the only creature you actually can't do anything with. So, I do want to get down a row. <clears throat> Good old row. This way we can start scrying. Start scrying, start finding what we need. No, Basilic. It's going to be conceding it out. Ooh, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, well, I want to get the Triome down. I'm not going to lie. I think the Triome is kind of the most important thing. I want to get to the Thousand Year Storm. There's, there's a lot. Uh, another Obosh deck. Obosh. Oh, oh my gosh. It's an Obosh. We'll throw those down tap. And we'll probably just opt come their turn. So again, we're looking for Thousand Year Storm plus Mythos of Aluna. Some madness. Some absolute madness. Alright, that's it for our opponent. We will opt. Nope. Pretty much if it's not something that's going to directly get us to that Thousand Year Storm, I don't want it. Might be worth it to just play the Bone Crusher, but I'm gonna wait. All right, so they're sacking with the oven. By the way, this is our Pro Flamola. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Resolve. Why would you do that before you attack? They didn't attack, did they? They just sacked their cat for no reason there? Hmm. Or was that on the last turn? I don't know. Um, but we're, we're just going to target face here. There's no reason to go targeting the cat. They're just going to sack the cat. So we're going to go to the face and say, ha, 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 ha. Nothing to really discard with the Merchant of the Veil, so I'm just going to keep that. I will go ahead and play down this fabled path, this fabled passage. <laughs> if I can get it off, get it down. I think we go Bone Crusher and then opt on their turn. We're at four mana, five mana. We need one more for that Thousand Year Storm. Oh, can you feel it? Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? It's happening. It's going to happen. In the future, it will happen. <laughs> All right, what you got for me, Obosh? Mayhem Devil. Let's see, sack, sack. So they can deal two damage. I don't think they. Oh no, 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 no! They can deal three. Right, right, right. They bring back the other cat. Three sacks. Three sacks and Bone Crusher Giants out of here. But they're not going to do it. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we just, we just, we just clarion, right? We actually, 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 factually, we, we go for the swing in, right? They shouldn't block us. If they do, it'll be with the kitty cat and they might go through the whole, like, little sack and situation. But, Honestly, if they if they sack and bring the cats back here, all will be well, right? They're not going to bring the cats back here. they get an Obosh down and I leave that Mayhem Devil, I'm done. I am done Arena, so Deafening, come on down. Wipe that board. You wipe it nice and good. Cool beans. 
Cool, cool beams. We're at five, man. We need one more of that thousand year storm and then we'll be there. I don't really want to discard the or use the merchant because that's kind of what I'm planning on using to proc the mythos once we get the thousand year storm down. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, bonus turn. Do they get down the Obosh? Moment of truth. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your applause till the end, please. Mayhem Devil. Oh, okay. Um. Not what I was expecting. We could go for the Rowl. Scry to try to keep him beefy. At Ooh. <laughs> Oh, baby. It's happening. Okay. So now we just have to not die. Cool. Cool beans. <laughs> I'm, ex I'm actually very excited for this. Not too often do I actually get to this point. Just so we're all clear. You know? Maybe that's why I actually don't know how many stacks of Thousand Year Storm we're going to get with this Mythos. We could die before it ever comes back to our turn. Realistically. Very, very realistically. If they hit a land, that's an Obosh, and we're dead. Judith. Witch's Oven. Actually, yeah, I think we're still dead. <laughs> good game. I'd like to say it was a good game. I really, I really would, but... <sighs> a thousand Year Storm, you let me down once again. <gasps> Nary, gonna be our next foe. Mary the Canary. This seems fun. We need some white mana for the Deafening Clarion, but certainly not going to be upset about it. I think I am going to go ahead and get down the Castle Vantra so we can get the Opt going. Go diving for our stuff. Opponent's going to be playing a Grazer. Good old Grazer. So this could be a... Uh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say this could be a... Uh, a Simic Mutate deck, but... I guess not with that. Alright, so we'll kick it back to our opponent. No big deal. I'm not thrilled with possibility of that opt away so we can draw some more lands. You send that message with that grazer. Boink. <laughs> I like it. We're going to attempt to discard our opt here. <laughs> opponent may have something to say about it. Nope. Pass it back to him. We're still gaining mana. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Raise the alarm. Alright, so this is a Winota deck, right? Another Grazer. So then we're not we're not worried about bouncing anything until Winota comes out. Although I suppose. This works perfectly fine as well. So even if they get a one out of down, they don't have anything non-human to attack with, right? There she blows. Good old Winota. Winota the Rider. Uh, actually, to get rid of her, we're just gonna go for a cheeky, a cheeky Bone Crusher into a shock. <laughs> Neri said, oh no, I don't think so. That's the only reason I'm playing this deck. So, Gurgluck. Gurgluck. <laughs> sure. Sure. We can throw a possibility the Phoenix away. Look at you with your cat over there. I still have an owl. I need to... I need to change it off the owl. All right, I think we're going for the thrill. Shoot to thrill, something something. Y'all know the song, play to kill, something like that. All right, so birth of Melitus coming down for our opponent. Ooh, thousand year storm and another arc light phoenix. I mean, if I can if I can cycle it or not cycle it, if I can uh, discard it, that'd be great. Underworld fires. And do I want to shock this this land in? I don't believe so. I don't think so. I 
The the strange thing is, is our opponent isn't playing Yorian. Dawn of Hope. What the hell are you playing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I want to bounce their wall. I guess we're just chilling. We're just big chilling. <laughs> All right, so do they do they draw a card with Dawn of Hope? They do. What is our opponent going for? Agonizing Remorse. Just just don't get rid of my Thousand Year Storm, okay? Get rid of Shark Typhoon. It's it's the it's the bigger threat to you. Thousand Year Storm is it's nothing. It's it's nothing. Don't touch my Mythos either. No. Yes, Shark Typhoon. That's the one you want. That's the droid you're looking for. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, so it's a, it's certainly unfortunate. Certainly unfortunate. I am going to do this at uh, sorcery speed. Yes, and that is why. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, if I could please direct your attention. Um, I think we're just going to wait. We're just going to wait on it. Worst comes to worst, I guess we could use Mythos to ramp us a little bit. <laughs> Alright, back to my turn. Opt. Oh boy, we're about to be an Opt Andy. Alright, well let's start opting. Well yeah, that's what uh, that's exactly what I was looking for, actually. Just uh, just regular old land. Good old fashioned land. Do I want to get down the merchant? I think so. I think I do. It gives us the ability to actually cycle out our Phoenixes. Phoenix Psy. If, if we draw into more. Um, let's see. Our opponent is just playing straight up Orzhov, too. Is it like just Orzhov enchantments? Like no no actual creatures? That seems kind of interesting. Regardless, at least they're playing something cool. Alright, so we're up to five lands. Realistically, if I Mythos a land, we can get to that Thousand Year Storm. But I don't want our opponent getting too to on to what we're doing. So we do have the Brazen Bar we can play at instant speed and the Bone Crusher Giant we can play at instant speed. So it looks like we're just kicking it back to them. Gurgalock. <laughs> um, do I want to Bone Crusher that 1-1? One, one? I think so. I think so. Stops them from being able to draw an extra card if they were planning on it with Dawn of Hope, which I'm assuming they are, were, whatever. Elspeth Nightmare. Uh, so we absolutely have to hit a land here, which means we're going cycling, ladies and gentlemen. We're going cycling. I don't care. I don't care if it's only a little tiny, teeny tiny little shark. I want land. I want land. That's not a land. I need a land. Come on, game. Oh, beautiful. All right, thousand year. Now we just need our opponent to not remove it. Can y'all imagine a world, a life, even, in fact, where a thousand year storm gets played, the opponent doesn't concede, and it doesn't get removed. We're about to see. Don't take my mythos. Don't take my... Oh, my heart. That's okay. That's okay. That's just one mythos. We still have more mythos, where that comes from. What, what'd they do? Heliod's Intervention? You son of a bitch! <laughs> you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Well, fine. I didn't... I didn't really want that Thousand Year Storm anyways. I'm just playing it to look cool. Thought about playing the Bone Crusher. It's a decent play. Exile my graveyard. Go for it. I don't think I have anything that can play anything back from the graveyard anyways. <laughs> Man, I can't believe we got Thousand Year down and they, they actually removed it just immediately. It's, it's heartbreaking. That's fine. Do we, we, we still have another, don't we? 
How is that saying 0%? We have one there. Alright. We're going to scry. Whirlwind of Thought. That could be alright. We could just draw hella with it. I do still want the land. Alright, so we go Whirlwind. Smack with the shark. May not be the best play ever. Alright. So we got a unit to defend our face. We have Whirlwind of Thought down, so we can draw crazy cards. A little ECD action. You taking my Whirlwind of Thought? Yeah. Look at Gurgle, look. Orzov, no fun player. But I gotta say, their deck is beautiful. It's it's doing what it came here to do, you know? It's winning the match, and it's doing it very efficiently. So, you know, if nothing else, hats off to them for that. Boop. We do Deafening Clary in here. Yeah, yeah, we go ahead. I don't know how we come back from this, and I also don't know why it's saying we have zero percent chance of drawing a thousand year storm. We should have still one in the deck. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we can play this, but it, it realistically it just makes more sense to wait. If we do hit another thousand year storm, and hopefully they don't remove it, you know, we will want spells that we can stack and cast. Now, if uh, if too many more turns go by and we're just not hitting anything, we're we're probably just gonna concede because let's be real, our opponent has incredible amounts of life gain. All right, gurgle look, drawing some cards, drawing some cards. We're going to scry, get our scry on. Opt in a land. No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm going to scry down and see what we would have seen. And then I'm probably going to call it, a, okay, Shark Typhoon could allow us to come back, though, realistically. I don't know about that, actually. If they have any more ECDs, it's going to get removed. If they have any more Heliod's Intervention, it's going to get removed. Storm, yeah. All right, all right. We're going to call it a GG. It was fun. It was fun. Gurglick, you got us. You got us.